chicken's boring, right? It's only for low-carb freaks and unadventurous eaters. Wrong. Brick chicken is about the most delicious thing ever, and it's easy to make at home. So how do you go from cluck and chuck to finger looking good? Here's how. The first thing you need to do is get your hands on a top quality clucker. I headed to the farmer's market and scored a three and a quarter pound bird from Mike Beatty of Tamarack Hollow Farm. Most chicken farmers do free choice grain, and we don't. I, I uh, fill up the grain once a day, and we let it run out. And we try to keep it so that they're not hungry for that long, but it forces them to root around, you know, not root around, but like pack and eat the seeds, eat grass, and eat little bugs, and search out other sources of food. It makes the meat definitely a lot richer, a lot darker in color. People really, it's very tender. Your dinner plate isn't the only thing that benefits from Mike's way of farming. I'm up in Corinth, Vermont, um, on Hill Farm, uh, long, long since fallen down dairy farm. We've been slowly recovering through pastured rotations of pigs and chickens and a few really well-behaved sheep. <laughs> so here's the chicken. What we're going to do is we're going to basically remove all the meat from here and here off of like the big rib cage, the main carcass. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut two parallel cuts this way and then cut around the rib cage. Hopefully, this is kind of a bony chicken. It's one of those beard guy chickens. And cut all the way down to the bottom. We're going to have to sever um, a knuckle here and a knuckle down here. Season the bone chicken with salt and pepper, then place skin side down in a smoking hot skillet. Put a heavy weight on top of the chicken and cook on high for five to seven minutes. And you just flip them over to the heat of the pan, just fill them. And then I preheated the oven to about 375. And we're gonna put these guys in the oven for about five minutes. They look good. Ow. They feel good. They're probably done. Yep. Time to make sauce. Squeeze the juice of one lemon into the pan with the chicken drippings and deglaze. Ta-da! So now we have our boiled potatoes, we have our chicken, and we're just gonna like pour a little bit of this love gravy over them. The lemon juice and the pan drippings. There's not a whole lot of it, which is good because it's kind of salty and tangy at the same time. And that is it.